Hello friends, hope you all are staying safe at home. This is Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on Android Framework Components. In today's tutorial, we will see the API from the framework side which is responsible for getting us the paired devices using Bluetooth. So using Bluetooth when we connect multiple devices, we will get paired devices using this particular framework API. So we'll dig deeper into framework side and we'll use those APIs in our application to get the paired devices. So let's get started. This is how my XML file or how my application is looking. There's only one small uh, button which gets us the pair device when we click on that button. So coming to the coding side. So first important point, we have to create an object for Bluetooth adapter. So Bluetooth adapter is the class which is responsible for uh, checking if the Bluetooth is available. It will check if it is not available, is Bluetooth enabled, disabled. So basically Bluetooth adapter is the one who manages all the Bluetooth functionality. So uh, we have to create an object of Bluetooth adapter first and we have to get default adapter. Next, if Bluetooth adapter is itself null, then we are just printing Bluetooth is not available, else we are printing Bluetooth is available. If Bluetooth adapter is not enabled, then using intent, we are sending an action to enable the Bluetooth. So we know using intents we can communicate from one activity to another activity, one service to another service. So here we are just from our main activity we are sending intent to Bluetooth adapter class telling hey Bluetooth is not enabled I request you to please enable the Bluetooth. So if still it is, if this is, if Bluetooth is not enabled, it's uh, enabling, else it will just print a toast message, Bluetooth is already enabled. Now, let's go back to our main important part. How to get the paired devices. So you're using Bluetooth adapter, we just checked if everything is set, Bluetooth is available, Bluetooth is enabled, everything is set. Now I connect my device to another device where Bluetooth is on and I just pair these two devices. Then get paired devices, I'm calling on, uh, on click of my button. So you're on click get pair devices will be called and Bluetooth adapter is enabled. If Bluetooth adapter is enabled, then I'm going here. So this is a set which contains the list of all the devices which are connected to this Bluetooth of the device where I'm launching this application. So here the main thing get bonded device. So get bonded device is the function which will return as all the uh, connected uh, Bluetooth connected devices. So in Java, in Bluetooth.java, there will be get bonded device, and in this function, it will have the code of what should happen whenever uh, we use this function. So all that code is executed when we just use this API. So all these APIs make our life very easy, right? We need not bother about what are the big, large chunks of codes which are um, are part of this function. We just use this API and we get all the data. So here we are using get bonded device. This is the main part which will help us to get the paired devices and it will store in the list. And I am printing that list here. Okay. So I hope this is clear. I, the main thing I wanted to tell the framework API which is responsible for getting the uh, Bluetooth paired devices is get bonded devices. So um, we have to know all the different APIs which will perform different functions to be a good app developer. Okay, now let's see the output. So I'm clicking on get paired device. And right now Bluetooth is off and can't get any paired device. So I go here and I enable Bluetooth. And I click it on again. Paired devices 53A605. So this is my paired device. To verify I'll go to settings. 
and I can see the paired device. So here 53A6, same, it's matching. So our app is working perfectly fine. So if I off, it will tell a toast telling Bluetooth is off and we can't get paired device. Okay, so this was a simple uh, video I wanted to show y'all, which is the API used to get the list of paired devices. So I hope this was informative and helpful. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye, take care. See y'all in my next tutorial.